Welcome to Hacking with Python 5.5, Port Scanner Add-on. The code will be available in the description. If you're watching this without watching the Hacking with Python 5 video, this won't make much sense. You can go back to the original video with the annotation on the screen. In this video, we'll add a feature to our port scanner to allow us to scan for a range of ports. Let's start modifying our port scan uh, file. Okay, so I'm going to come back here to uh, Ubuntu and we're only going to be editing our main function. So we open up our file to edit and we scroll down to our main. Okay, so we want to be able to take a range of ports. So let's first of all edit the help for our uh, our port passing and we'll put a comma and we go separate separate ranges with a dash okay now if we come back down here what we're going to be editing is our uh, else statement so our host is still fine because we want to scan all the ports on our host we're just going to, rather than just having this one statement here, we're going to add an if. So, we're going to go if there's a dash in string options dot target port, then what we're going to do, so we're going to go target ports is equal to options dot target port and then we're going to split it so split with the dash uh, separator and then once we've split it up we're going to set up the port ranges so we'll use target ports again target ports we're going to override the value in here and we're going to set that to range the range and we're going to use an integer of target ports and we're going to use the first value that they put in and for our second parameter in the range function we're going to make an int of target ports and it's going to be the second value that they put in Okay, so that's that written. Now we'll put in our else. So if they don't put a dash in the line, then we want to run it as normal with the comma separator. And that's that's all we're adding. So it's just that easy to modify our program to do different things. So if I right quit and we try running a scan on the same host as before, uh, what we can do is we can say We'll scan from 64,500 to uh, 65,000. So we should get a bunch of ports that aren't open and we should get a port one port that is. So if we run this and the host and it scans okay oh we've got a error um, okay we couldn't start a new thread so we must have run out of threads uh, makes sense because I'm running this on a VM okay um, now if we we can have a look at the output inside our console so we've got a bunch of closed ports and at the very start I think it found our open port which was that uh, Uh, 64738 so the reason that came back first is because uh, it was a successful connection so the thread that opened up with uh, that connection the connection was successful because it's over a LAN whereas all the other ones had to wait for timeout so you'll also notice that they finished in different order and that was because our semi 4 is locking the output so because 
this is only running on an EVM processor. Um, we obviously don't have the limits of being able to scan so many ports in the threads. So we can make checks for that inside our code if we want, or we can just make sure we scan smaller amounts. Um, so if we go 500 to, I know, 800, hopefully, 64, 800, hopefully that won't crash on us. And we should get uh, our successful connection to the port. Yep. And all the others are closed. So as you can see, that's a quick way to scan a bunch of ports. And it was very simple to modify our code to do that. Um, <coughs> uh, this concludes our add-on. Hope you enjoyed this little extra and shown you how easy it is to modify programs in Python. Uh, if you have any questions and you can't find it after a quick Google search, feel free to leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching.